I've been playing the bagpipes in the carnival band for more than 30 years. I love the full rich sound of the drones and the way the chanter melody moves in and out of harmony with them, creating a sense of tension and relaxation. The constant sound of the drones makes the music grounded and earthy. We play tunes from the dance music of the 16th and 17th centuries and traditional tunes from many European countries because bagpipes are not just found in Scotland. They're played throughout the British Isles in many European countries, North Africa, the Middle East and India. And each country or region has its own type of bagpipe. The bagpipes that I play are usually referred to as Flemish bagpipes or Renaissance bagpipes. They're copied from the paintings of Peter Bruegel the Elder, uh, who was born in Brabant, which is now the southern part of the Netherlands, and was working in the second half of the 16th century. And in particular, two paintings uh, called The Peasant's Wedding and The Peasant's Dance. These paintings are in the Kunsthistorische in Vienna. So if you Google uh, Peter Bruegel, and uh, you'll soon find those uh, paintings. And you'll see that my bagpipes are really faithful copies. Uh, they're made by uh, Jonathan Swain, who uh, works in, in England uh, in Somerset and is a wonderful bagpipe maker and a fantastic player as well. Uh, so now I'm going to take them to pieces and show you how they work. So here's the bagpipe all in pieces and first of all we've got the bag of course and that's made from the skin of an animal I think in this case a goat but it could be a sheep or a cow depending on the size of your bagpipe I suppose and it's all sewn up very tightly so that uh, the air can't escape once it's in the bag except through the the pipes and into the bag you have inserted these uh, sockets, uh, wooden sockets, known as stocks. So this one is for the chanter. This one is for the, the blowpipe. And this one is for the drones. And then you've got a secondary piece of wood to go into the drone stock. That's this piece here, because you've got two drones. So the air comes in through this uh, pipe here and then it is divided into two channels one for the uh, tenor drone and one for the bass drone so that's the stocks uh, this is the blow pipe uh, it's got a non-return valve here so that the air comes into the uh, bag but it can't get out it can't get back We've got the chanter here, which, as you see, is a, a pipe with finger holes, and that plays the melody. It's got uh, a double reed that's here. Uh, so that's a, a, the type of reed that a shawm player or an oboe player or a bassoon player would use. And uh, let's give it a toot. Well, it's working roughly, a bit out of tune there, but we'll sort that out. Uh, and then onto the drones, and you've got uh, the drone pipes in sections for convenience, and the, the leather strings between the uh, sections are just so that you don't get the different pieces of pipe muddled up. Helps you to assemble them quickly. And we've got here a single reed, so you can see that's a, a tube of cane and um, there's a notch cut into the cane so that you've got a flap, as it were, that, that vibrates and that makes the sound when the air passes into the pipe. So there are two drones and uh, one is in three sections, so that the, makes the lower sound because it's the longer tube. Uh, uh, but both of them play the note D. So you've got a low D, that would be the bass drone, a higher D, and that would be the tenor drone, the one in two sections. 
and the chanter is also tuned in D, so it's very clearly in the key of D. It can play in D major or D minor, uh, and it's also got a C sharp just below the lowest uh, D, uh, which gives a lovely crunchy effect, a lovely harmonic effect, and the, which then resolves onto the uh, consonant Ds altogether. So that's one of the great uh, features of this type of bagpipe. So there it is, all ready to be put back together. So I'm going to start to put the uh, bagpipe together now and I'll start with the blowpipe. And moving on to the drones. Here's the smaller one. You see, I can slide the uh, the tubes in and out to tune the drones. I think that's roughly a D now. We'll soon find out. And uh, I can pop this one into its socket there. And now the bass drone. So. This is where the strings come in handy, as you can see. So that goes there, and this one goes here. Okay, let's give that a blow. Also roughly a D. Normally I don't take um, the drones out of this uh, stock here. I uh, disassemble the pipes from this uh, from this joint here. Um, it, it just protects the reeds. I don't really like taking the reeds out. Okay, let's see if the two drones sound good together. They're pretty close, but they're not quite right. I don't know if you can hear the beating, the sort of wah, 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 wah effect. Uh, now, if I tune one or the other then it that should disappear I'll, tr I'll try and make it go worse and then I'll try and make it go better see if you can hear that so I managed to get rid of that beating uh, so that's good so now I can put those into the uh, into the bagpipe here. A bit cramped for space. All part of the fun. Okay, so that's there. Last but not least, uh, we've got to fit the, the chanter in. Well, I've given it a blow just now, so I know the reed's working. So I can pop that in very carefully. That's it. Okay, so I think, have I got it the right way round? I might need to adjust. Yes, I do. I need to just twist it slightly so that the finger holes are in a comfortable position for my hand. I find these days with a little bit of arthritis creeping in that the bagpipes are quite uh, quite a stretch for me but I can still make it just about so there you are the bag is, is filling up and, and I've got to squeeze with my elbow to force the air out of the bag into the pipes won't come back into my mouth because of the non-return valve on the blowpipe. So we've got the drones going and if I squeeze a little bit harder we'll get the chanter too.
but they're not perfectly in tune, so I'm going to adjust the drone pipes now. enjoyed that lovely harmonic scrunch at the end where I was playing the lowest note, the C sharp, uh, scrunching against the D's of the drone and then resolving onto a D so that all the pipes are playing the same note. I just love that effect. I think I'll play a tune for you now. 